Ty Vaughn. You've had some outstanding plays on the field. Even commentators had, have made comments. How does that make you feel to hear people recognize your play, even though you may know, I've been doing this the whole time? It's good to hear the, the, the fans and the commentators talk about it like that, but um, my teammates always kind of gave me that praise. Like, you know, you always bring it. And that's, that's all that matters to me, you know, is that my team sees what I'm doing and that I'm going out there and playing my hardest every play. I will say that there's rarely a time even if the person is not your man to cover, that you will let someone pass you by. Mm -hmm. That was instilled in me at a young age. Uh, I remember I was probably like eight years old, and my parents were at the game, and um, like a guy scored, and I was just on the sideline like walking, and it was like, they cussed me out bad. Like, if, if you're not gonna play every play your hardest, don't go out there and play, and you know, that kind of stuck with me since I was a kid. Did you always know that you wanted to play football? Yeah, I started playing uh, flag football when I was five years old, so. It was like love at first sight. Outside of football, what do you enjoy doing? Uh, I like to go paintballing. That's one of my things. How's the bowling game? Oh, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> no, I'm not that good, actually. I hate to say it. <laughs> no, I thought you were supposed to be good. You did well. Uh, yeah. Uh, was it the competition? I mean, listen, I go bowling a lot. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. Head coach Hugh Jackson said that he expected a lot out of you this season. Does that put pressure on you to play differently or not so much? It was actually motivation, you know, um, to see that he had confidence in me like that, to step up and make plays, you know, kind of motivated me this all season. I put a lot of extra work in, a lot more work than any other all season. And how do you feel that that effort has paid off for you? It's working for me, you know. I still got a lot of room to grow in my game, but I think it's working for me. I think I'm steadily improving. You have a lot of energy. There is never a practice when you're slow moving. You're jawing at your teammates to make sure they're up for practice, they're up for a game. Where does that all come from? I feed off everybody else, you know. Uh, me and Huff, you know, guys kind of look at us for that spark, you know, uh, that energy, because we always bring it. And, um, you know, I just want to keep it going, you know. If, if some days I don't feel good, you know, Huff gets me going. Some days he doesn't feel good, I get him going, and then, you know, the rest of the team just feeds off that. Mr. Davis, before his passing, had you ever had any interaction with him? I remember my first, my first interaction with Mr. Davis. He was walking in, and I was standing at the front desk, and um, he came in and he looked at me. He was like, hey, man, you were pretty fast. He was like, I remember you were a greater rate track athlete of the year in high school. I was like, you know, it's crazy that, and then he starts asking me about people that I played with in college, and it's crazy that he knew so much about football. You know, you could tell he dedicated his life to it. Let's talk a little bit about your coaching staff. Mm -hmm. Coach Rod Woodson new to the staff. Mm -hmm. How is the team different? Is it different with the, the addition of uh, Rod Woodson? Yeah, he definitely has a lot of insight. You know, uh, he sees you playing it, he, and he always tells you, the playbook say play like this, but, you know, y'all out there on the field, so use the gray area in football. So, you know, that's what he brings. He, he lets you, he gives you that freedom to make plays. Know, we're mad, but this is ridiculous. What about his critiques? Oh, yeah, he'll get on you now. But he knows a lot about the game. He's a Hall of Famer. You know, he played for, what, 17 years? So he knows a lot about the game. And I guess if he's critiquing you, you got to take it in. Coach Hugh Jackson. Mm hmm A little different character. Mm hmm How would you describe him? Everybody's seen Shrek. What's, what's, the, uh, what's the little prince name in Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> the little angry guy? Yeah, that's Hugh. Nah, but he was a great guy, man. And um, he's one of the best motivators there is, you know. And, uh, he, he's always on you. He's not going to let you come out and have a dull day. He's not going to let you be down. You know, he's always going to get on you. And, you know, we love it. You know, the players respond to that well. Is it too late for us to maybe start with the Pro Bowl push for Tyvon Branch? Um, you know, I would love to play in the Pro Bowl. You know, that's everybody's goal in this league is to be recognized as one of the elites. But, you know, um, it's, not, it's not all I'm here for. You know, I'd rather get to the playoffs before the Pro Bowl.